Hey guys, this is Lisa Torres here and in this video I'm going to share with you 10 habits that you must absolutely must quit if you want to be happy in your life and in your business. All right, so habit number one, quit procrastinating on your goals. So many people use excuse after excuse and you know, they just let things, uh, you know, just pretty much get in their way of, um, you know, going out there and achieving the goals. And I would highly suggest that you actually write down your goals, even if it's just five small little goals that you want to accomplish and then make it your business to actually go ahead and do that. Because I promise you, once you finish that, you, you will just feel so much happier. Habit number two, quit blaming others and making excuses. Okay, when you make excuses, that can basically hinder your success. When you start pointing fingers and blaming other people about why you're not having success in your business, it really has nothing to do with them. It's you. You're the one that keeps making the excuses. You're the one that keeps pointing fingers at people when really the problem is you. So if you stop doing that, if you quit that habit, you will start having just feeling absolutely amazing when you start implementing that in your life and in your business. Number three, quit trying to avoid change. You know, change is so good. Change is what sometimes people need and they don't even know that they need it, right? So if you feel that, if you feel that there's a need for a change and you've been kind of procrastinating on changing things in your life or changing uh, your hairstyle or the way that you dress or the way that you speak or the way that you carry yourself or the way that you handle your business, change is good. Change can actually make you a better person if you practice to, to change and be open to change. Number four, quit trying to control the uncontrollable. What does that mean? Okay, so for example, in my niche, the network marketing, direct sales, home-based business, affiliate marketing, where we are basically growing teams, right, in the network marketing industry, we're growing teams. But here's the thing, you are probably trying to be a control freak with your team, right? You cannot control your team to show up, show up to the calls, show up to the events. They have to want to do it and have a desire to do it, to do it because if they don't have the, de the desire to do it and you're kind of like forcing them to do it, well then guess what? They're probably not going to have success anyway. So stop trying con to control things that are uncontrollable. The only thing that you need to focus on is how you motivate and inspire other people. That's the only thing that you can change they have to, or the, the only thing that you can control, they have to be able to, you know, move forward, see, you know, follow you in your direction and take action. That is not your responsibility. Your responsibility is to go out there, inspire others, and just do things that are in your control and stop trying to, to change, you know, control things that are just completely uncontrollable. Number five, quit talking down to yourself. You know, so many people say things like, Oh, I'm too fat. Oh, I'm too tall. Oh, I'm too skinny. Oh, I don't have, you know, I, I don't have the knowledge to do that. Oh, I don't have the skill sets to do that. I don't have this and I don't have that and stop it. Okay, I don't have a following. I don't know what to blog about. I don't know what to talk about. I don't know how to make videos. Having these, all these things come out of your mouth, which really is, it's lies. It's, it's absolute lies. So stop talking down to yourself and start speaking yourself up, right? Start speaking to yourself um, as if you are great, that you do know how to blog. If you don't know how to blog, ooh, there's a bee. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Big, fat, giant bee. Um, if you, if you, you know, you keep talking down to yourself, well, then guess what? Your brain is going to start believing it. Okay, your sub subconscious is going to start believing it. And, um, you know, stop, stop doing that. Stop, stop it. Stop it, stop it. Instead, start speaking good things about yourself. Like, you know, if you don't know how to blog or if you don't know how to cut video, say, I have the power within myself to learn how to do that. I have the power within myself to pretty much learn how to do anything I want. I can do anything I put my mind to. 
I am powerful. I'm a go-getter. I love people and people love me and I am unstoppable. Number six, quit criticizing other people. You know, really, I mean, think about it for a second. If you're out there looking at what everybody else is doing and, and, and just criticizing what they're doing, whether it be friends, families, business associates, let them be. Stop worrying about other people and just worry about yourself. Number seven, quit running from your problems and your fears. The only person on this planet who, control, who can control the fears and control the problems is you, no one else. And again, like I said before, you have the power to change. Number eight, quit living in another time and space. What the heck does that mean? That means that you keep bringing up old past things that happened in your life or situations that went wrong and you keep living in the past. Stop doing that. The past is the past and you can't bring it back. It's gone forever. K finish, kapoop, right? It's done. The only thing that you have right now is the now, today, what's going on now, what's happening now, and your future. And only you can control that. Number nine, quit trying to be someone else you're not. You know, you are a beautiful person, right? You are unique. You are a one, one individual who can actually have the power within them to actually change the world. You don't have to go out there to try to be like someone else. You can model someone else. There's nothing wrong with modeling someone else. But when you're trying to be something that you're really not, you're not really going to grow like that. So stop doing that and just start being you. Number 10, quit being ungrateful. You know, being grateful is really good for your soul. It's good for your heart. Um, it's good for your sense of well-being when you are grateful for the things that you have. Listen, I don't care where you are in your life or in your business right now, okay? Just know that it, will, it won't stay the same if you move forward to change, right? We talked about change uh, and being open to change, but be grateful for where you are right now because you know what? It's just a stepping stone into your future. It's a stepping stone into your greatness. So be grateful and stop, you know, quit being ungrateful. So there you have it. Those are my top 10 habits that you absolutely must quit if you want to live a happy, successful life and business, okay? And I know that you can do it. So go ahead, rewind this video, listen to the 10 bad habits again, do yourself a favor, write down the 10 habits that you probably have and start working on changing them. And I promise that once you start implementing that into your life, you will start feeling better, looking better, uh, people will see you in a different light and you will just have just this amazing aura that nobody can take away from you. So be sure to visit my website at lisatorresspeaks.com and I'll see you on my next video. Ciao for now.